Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pesuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays. Um, this time we're going to go through the function has one value. It's uh, something that I promised to do quite well and I haven't really had the time to do it until now, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this function was actually initially requested by Victor and uh, I've received a message from John today also asking me if I could do the has one value function so I think it's actually time to do it so let's go ahead and hopefully you'll understand it better okay so first of all let's look at what Microsoft says that has one value is and the definition here says it returns true when the context for a column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only, otherwise it returns false. So has one value is a true and false condition function. It's an important distinction. So it's not giving you a value back, it's just saying, is there one value there or not? Okay? And the syntax is has one value column name. Now, here is something that is important to has one value is actually syntax sugar for count rows, values, column name equal one. If you go online and look for formulas, a lot of times you will found, find this. And you might wonder why. Well, has one value is a function that was introduced afterwards. I'm, I don't know exactly when, but it didn't exist from the beginning. So, it is very common use, these count row values um, syntax, so they decided to give it a function that is actually, it makes the formulas more readable. I don't know if it's faster or not, perhaps not, because it's just syntax sugar, I have no idea. If you know, let us know in the comment box. But uh, it definitely makes things more readable. So if you are looking at a blog post that has count rows values equal one that means that you can substitute that for has one value and make your formula more readable so it is a function that returns true when one value is passed okay when there is just one value otherwise it's false now let, let's look a little bit more in detail into that definition. So I'm sure if you've been working with DAX for a while, you've got this error. A table of multiple values was supplied where a single value was expected. I've got this all the time, all the time. I still get it, but in the beginning it was just basically all the time, it drove me nuts because I had no idea what that was. And what this basically is telling you is that the measure that you are creating is expecting a single value return when all the filters have been applied. But instead of getting a value, what it's getting is a table and then Power BI does not know what to do with it because the formula was made for a single value. I'm going to give you an example that this is breaking into two formulas and it becomes very clear when, in that case, a single value is needed. But if you have, if you get this error, you know what's going on now. It is expecting a single value, you are giving it multiple values. And this is where the has one value condition formula or check comes into play because remember has one value is just a true false condition formula so it will not return a value it will just return if the test is true or false so what is the test is testing for is the table return does it has has it one row and one column and this is what gets a bit confusing with the definition that Microsoft gave on their documentation. Let's go back to it. So if you look in here, it says that the context has been filtered down to one distinct value. 
So you may think that you have to give it a number or, you know, a single cell. You, you cannot do anything else. The thing is that you can return a table. So what happens is if you return a table that has one row and one column, Power BI will automatically um, convert that into a scalar value, the value that the measure needs to actually computate whatever you're trying to calculate. Okay, So it's not just you should give them a three or a black, it's that you, can, you have to make sure that the table is filtered to one row, one column. So let's go into the example. I'm sure that, sorry, that is a long explanation, but I, I think it needs to be said in order to understand the function better. So let's jump into Power BI and work out an example. Okay, so here we are in Power BI, and this is an example that we've used before when we were calculating um, rank and we were doing with a slicer. So for those that haven't seen that video, let me do a quick recap. What this does is when I select something in this slicer, for example, top three, it will filter my list to the top three values. Top five, top five values and top 10 will be the top 10 values. Okay. And the mechanism behind this is, or the key component to this is actually has one value. To understand how this works, we're going to work our way backwards. So how is this working? Let's look at this average measurement value. Let's see what it says here. It says, if machine rank measure value. What is that? Let's put it in here. Let's use our new word wrap on columns. How awesome is this? You know that you have this in the latest update, right? So there you go. So um, if this is basically our ranking column, right? So if the ranking value is less or equal that selected top n value. What this measure does is give us which value has been selected here, then return the average value of those return numbers. So if I click top three, it will give it will pass three to these to this one, and then it will say, okay get ranking one two three so if it is less or equal so three two one then calculate the average value of those if i choose top five it would take five top ten it would take ten so it's working perfectly right but what is this really making this work it is this selected top n value let's look at that i have it here so if one scalar value has been returned, return the value of that, otherwise return these. What this is, is the maximum value on the ranking, so it will return 12. Okay. And you could have put it blank, the reason for that is I don't want this to be blank when nothing is selected. When nothing is selected, I want it to return all the values. So this is what this is doing, returning all the values or just the value selected. Now, let's do this calculation without has one value. So we just want to get the values in there. Okay. So when I have one selected, it's no problem. When I remove it, what do you think we've got for error? And here it is. 
the table of multiple values was applied where a single value was suspected. Okay, so we didn't guard for um, multiple values and that's why we get an error. So if we choose, if we have a single value, it will work, but if we don't, we get that horrible um, error message. Now let's go one step further. Let's go here to our average measurement value in there. And we're going to modify that with our wrong measure to see what happens. So in there, we will put our wrong value. Sure. Okay. So now we put it in there. And what do you think we will get for error? A table of multiple values would supply where a single value was suspected. Mm -hmm. If I choose one, look what happens. It works perfect. If I don't, it breaks because it is expecting to have just one value. And it makes sense, right? Let's go in here again. If machine, I mean, if, if this rank is less or equal than the selected here. Well, the selected here is not a number, it's a table. So how are you going to compare? Power BI cannot do that. So it says, mm, I, can't re I can't return anything because I didn't get a value to check that against. And it gives us the error. So to protect us for that error, what we do is we have here the if has one value and now it is working again even when there are no values so I hope uh, that this tutorial made it clearer, or at least clearer, what has one value does. Um, let's just do a little recap before we uh, finish this tutorial. So, when you find yourself with this error, a table of multiple values will supply where a single value was suspected. You know now what's going on. You need to return just one table with one row and one column or one single value you know that has one value is just a condition it's just testing a condition it's not actually returning a value so it's testing for if the table returned has one row and one column power bi will convert the table to a scalar value so you don't have to worry about that and has one value is just syntax sugar for count rows values for that column equal one. Okay, so if you see that somewhere in a blog post, you know that they are actually referring to has one value, but it was not available when they were doing the tutorial. Great. So this is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. If you like it, please let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have uh, comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening.